Hope is something we have a short supply of nowadays. The past two years specifically have left quite a lot of us feeling particularly hopeless. Some of us feel immense loneliness, and a lot of people have had to deal with a lot of other very stressful situations. Some of us are financially at the end of our ropes with no end in sight. Even more still, some of us have had to deal with the loss of loved ones due to illness or other extraordinary circumstances. It is easy to feel hopeless right now, lost and confused in a world that doesn't make any sense to us. The Book of Lamentations also outlines a time when people seemed hopeless. The people of Judah had lost everything. Jerusalem was destroyed and its people were being driven out by the Babylonians and exiled into a land far from their own. It was during this time that the prophet Jeremiah wrote the Book of Lamentations, reflecting on the things he saw and crying out in anguish to the Lord. And despite the seemingly hopeless situation Jeremiah found himself in, he wrote in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 25, The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him even when the world was falling in around him. Jeremiah still was able to find some hope in the God who he knew, loved him, and in the God he believed in. When the world is falling down around us like it has been the past two years, we can forget that there is hope when we turn to God, even in times when we feel incredibly hopeless. It can be hard, it can be challenging, but continuing forward, and reminding yourself that you can call out to God for everything always will bring you hope.